Now that we have our lists in place for our parent-child list relationship, uh, I want to make it so when I click on a parent item, in this case an issue, that I want to see all of the children associated with this issue on this page. So to do that, we need to edit the default display form for issues. So we click on our issues list, we want to click on the list tab, and we want to go to the form web parts, and we want to edit the default display form. So here we have our default display form. We want to add the time list to the display issue of the parent. So click on add a web part. We want to click apps, time. We want to add it. And here's the time list. Let's go ahead and move it below issues. But you can see it's showing every time entry. We want to tell it to only show the time entry associated with a specific issue. And we do that by using a connection. So click on the little down arrow here. We want to do connections, provide row to time. Brings up this interface. We want to get filter values from, and we want to say the ID, the provider, which is the issue list. We want to use the ID field. The consumer field name on the time list is going to be the, our issue field. Okay, so click finish. Now that connection set up, you see there's nothing here in this list now. And let's go ahead and click Stop Editing. Now when we go to View an Issue, Need More RAM, you see here is the time list, Bought Some RAM. So we see just those entries associated with it. If we go back to the issues and click on Need Bigger SSD, we see that there is an issue associated with it. Tried to buy a bigger SSD, but I'm broke. So the next thing we want to do is, if we need to add another time entry to this list, we want to make it to where when we click on New Item, that it brings up the New Item form and already has this issue set for us because we know which issue this belongs to because where we came from. And that's what we're going to do in the next video.